Hello, I'm here in Hemswell Court, where on behalf of the Lincolnshire Local Resilience Forum, I'm hosting this evening's Snow Heroes Award. It's quite difficult, given the amazing weather we've had recently, to think that only just a few short weeks ago we were caught in winter's grip. Tonight is an excellent opportunity for us to say thank you to members of our community and members of the emergency services for all of the efforts that they went to during that time when we were all struggling to look after ourselves in the snow, the ice and the cold. I realise that it's not just severe weather conditions though that pose us some threats in the county of Lincolnshire. Recently as part of the Resilience Forum I went to look at our flood defences across the east coast. Flooding is a really significant issue for us here and it's one that we all need to be very aware of. So I'd ask that if you're in an area that's at risk, please look after your own safety and be aware of your local plans. Being prepared is more than half the battle in looking after your safety. And in Lincolnshire Police, your safety is really important. We've had some recent real successes when we've targeted criminals who are involved in issues such as slavery and historic sensual offending. And I'd like to reassure you that we will do everything we can to ensure that the people involved in those kinds of crimes are brought to justice. My officers go about their duty to the best of their ability, but one of the things I'm keen to ensure is that they can do so respecting their own safety. They're well trained and they're well equipped, but it should never be acceptable that they should become the victims of violence and aggression. And I will continue to do what I can to give them the right equipment, such as the recent introduction of spit guards. But I also want to ensure that the courts view, in the strongest possible terms, those who try and assault police officers. Their well-being and support, I think, is something that I could ask you, as members of the public, to lend your support towards. And there's lots that we're trying to do. I was delighted recently that we were able to launch a safer roads team involving volunteers and members of Lincolnshire Police who over the course of the next few months and in fact for the foreseeable future will assist in trying to keep our roads as safe as possible. Speeding, drinking, not wearing your seatbelt and being distracted by things such as mobile phones are significant contributors to those who are killed and seriously injured across our road network. Changing behaviours through education and, where appropriate, enforcement are the things that this new Safer Roads team will use to their utmost. Because every single fatality and every single injury on our roads is one too many. So hopefully I can look to you to ensure that we do our level best to work together to try and reduce the amount of harm that's caused on our roads. And I'm really grateful for the support that I've received over the last 12 months when we've tackled other issues, in particular our approach to rural crime. We've seen significant reductions in the number of criminals who have come into Lincolnshire over the last six months to commit things such as hair coursing, theft or intimidation. And I know that we still have challenges for the future, but I'm delighted to the way in which the communities have responded in supporting us in tackling these serious criminals and the way in which the courts have supported us in the way in which they have handed out sentences and forfeiture for things such as vehicles and dogs. We'll be doing a lot more thinking over the summer as we look forward to enforcement action and disruption action in the course of the next year. I'm also looking forward to this summer to getting out and about and meeting you at a range of events we have during our summer engagement. I hope that at points you get a chance to enjoy the good weather we can look forward to and I'll see you there. Thank you. <laughs>